you know, I'm I, I'm going shopping. I'm I'm home. It's Sunday late, and I've got to head back to the mine. And I'm been shopping for some stuff. And these are regular great big chain grocery stores. So I'm in there, and the first thing I'm getting is like, okay, bacon. I eat bacon. Okay, so I get grab the bacon, the Oscar Mayer, the good kind, and I'm looking at the date on it. I'm like, well, the, I'll have to cook. I'll have to, I'll have to skittle this in the parking lot because it's it's going to go bad before I, before I even get it back there, right? I mean, nobody wants to pay twelve bucks for a little packet. Okay, same thing happened. I'm getting the milk, and I'm thinking. Well, I'm gonna have to drink this on the way out, or make milkshakes with it, or something, because it's it's just gonna go bad. They had supposedly fresh, which are not fresh, scallops, big scallops. So I thought, yeah, that really sounds good, you know. And the restaurants have not been good lately. Even the best ones around, they just haven't been very good. So I thought, okay, buy two pounds of scallops, and I take them home and I cook them. And I'm not a great cook. I, I'm like, okay, you know, you could come over and you go, no, that's all right. Because most people think they are, right? I, I've figured out that that's why mom and pop restaurants don't don't make it, and ones that aren't chains. I mean, they think their stuff's good, and and it is to them, but not to the rest of us. Scallop season from a distance. Watching Chef Ramsay cook is like poetry in motion. Scallops in, start at twelve o'clock. It's beauty. It's majestic. It's like nature. He's mastered space and time. Okay, so I cook these scallops, and I'm thinking, you know, these things, okay, I get it. There's a lot of water in them, and I keep draining that off. And, of course, I'm just trying, I'm not trying to overcook them, but I'm trying to get them to cook, but they don't even resemble scallops. They're kind of holding that shape. And then I finally get done with them, and I think, <clears throat> these are pretty good, or they look great. There you have it. Hand seared scallops with a fresh minty pink puree. I put him on the plate. I'm sitting there with my dog, Con. He's a great big giant schnauzer. He's watching me. And uh, I put one in my mouth, and I'm like, it didn't taste bad. And I finished it, and I thought, well, I'll try another one. And I was like, well, you know what? You could You could put a blindfold on, and you might not be able to tell what this is if, if you were to eat it. Okay, and, and they changed the texture. I'm like, I've eaten quite a few scallops. My grandma worked in the Bumblebee Seafood Cannery down in uh, Grace Harbor County. I, you know, I grew up for years at the coast. So I fresh seafood all the time. I'm, I know what scallops taste like. I'm pretty sure these aren't scallops. This is manufactured meat. I mean, it's not supposed to be. So that's that's what's going on there, and then and then the same thing ha happens with their hamburger, you know, because I buy the stuff that that's better for me than and spend the money on it. I buy that, and I buy veggies, and I buy fruit, and I know somebody's going to tell me that hey, Steve, carb fruit fruit or carbs, and I go yeah, you know, I get it, I, I know how that works. So anyhow, I, not only is the stuff outdated, and then my the eggs that I buy, I mean, they're like a dollar a piece. So I'm, I'm trying to look at the date because you can't read the date. They put it on the good kind. They put it on so fainted that they, they don't want you to know. Is anybody having that trouble at the store? I mean, you got to drink the milk before it curdles on the way out. Okay, so I'm not buying that. And then the lady, actually the other day, I buy, I buy a ground turkey for my dog. I cook. Con gets treated every day. So I buy him ground turkey. I cook it, I cook it with potatoes and veggies, and that, that's his, that's what he eats. So the other day I'm in there looking at it, and I'm rifling through the packages, because that stuff's cost a fortune too. And the lady behind the counter, she got really mad at me. She comes over and, what are you doing? What are you doing? Or what's wrong with that one? I said, well, nothing, you can have that one. That one, that one expired like a week and a half ago. Here, you can have that one. No, no, you, you keep it, I'll take this. So I don't, I don't get it. Uh, I do get that you it gets old 